Hi everyone, it's Ju here from 3B. Um, I just want to just go through some of these um, videos that I use, which is stock footage, 4K stock footage, um, in its rawest format, uh, and it's just connected by USB. And I use this to do the comparative reviews between different versions of the firmware that we get for the KS series and the MU series of TVs. We're watching this on a KS 8000, a 65 inch TV. And I've been living with the 1230.5 update, the new one that came out last week, and I made some changes. Um, and some of these actually won't be picked up fully by the camera. I'm using an S8 Plus um, phone to pick this up. Um, but obviously there are limitations with how uh, these cameras can actually pick up. But it seems pretty accurate from what I can see so far. Um, overall, I've seen there's a, a dramatic improvement in how the backlighting is being managed. And I don't know whether it's just me, but I do notice that things are fundamentally brighter and um, colors were more saturated. As a result, for the first time ever, um, I actually had to reduce the backlight down to, to 15 as a result on that. Uh, and also the color uh, down as well. Uh, I found things were sort of very saturated and, and, and when we saw sort of like greens, um, obviously that, that caterpillar is very, very green. It's almost um, a fluorescent green, but sort of natural colors in terms of um, flora and fauna tend to be, were overblown. They were sort of really saturated uh, before I did the changes in terms of uh, the color and the brightness and so on. So I did notice those that things that were green were probably just way too green. Um, and I believe it's more of a, a better balance now. So I've reduced those down. Um, as I said, there is a, a real change in how the backlighting has changed um, with this update. I do believe this is probably a really significant update. So if you've got a KS series or an MRU series of TV, I would really recommend updating to this because I've noticed some real fundamental improvements. I also noticed just at times, not all the time, but th there were times when I noticed things just seemed a little bit softer than they were previously. As a result of that, I put the, um, the sharpening up just a little bit, nothing dramatic, just to, just to add a bit of a pinch, just a bit of sharpness there. Um, but overall, you know, things are, have, have improved greatly. Um, I've noticed also that um, there's less judder. I still have, um, I can't remember the name of the setting now, but I still have uh, the, um, the setting that allows me to uh, just sort of stop that judder a little bit. But I, I do explain that in the settings video that um, I, I go through all the settings that I use. But I just wanted to go through some of these videos and sort of highlight some of the areas that I've noticed that there's been some real improvement. So, you know, as I mentioned, things were uh, on the previous settings on 1230.5 were very were overly saturated. Um, with in terms of what we're seeing here with sort of blacks and whites, I, I still I think those are what better managed now. We're not seeing that. Um, that sort of light bleed with the, with, you know, as we can see here. I know we've got the reflection of me. You can probably see me waving. Um, but the the management of the backlight with between dark and bright areas that are close by, or you know, that that tend to bleed into one another, or can bleed when there's a bright image on a very dark background, you get this sort of halo effect. I think that's been that's better managed. Um, it's still there, it was, it's inherent in the panel, it can't be removed completely. This isn't an OLED panel, so you're not going to get away with it. But the management of it has improved greatly. Um, so I'm, really what I've, what I've discovered with this update is I'm enjoying the TV ag again, really. I feel it's a really fundamental update. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, the, the games that I'm playing on the Xbox One X and the PlayStation Pro 
um, look great on it, even with these the settings that I show previously uh, in another video. Um, just things that really, really good. Now you're not gonna pick up everything on this video because the camera has limitations. Um, and it's, it's gonna, things are gonna look, you know, like where they're hitting this, you know, metal, um, this, this, the thing they're making into a, a, a sword. Um, it, it, it looks overly saturated and blown. It's actually not on the screen. So what you're seeing here is, is probably the camera can't pick it up fully. Uh, but it's, it's improved greatly um, how it's managing, you know, sort of areas like this where we're seeing them hammer onto this, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Um, but uh, yeah, you can really see the detail, but, you, but the camera sadly isn't picking that up fully. Uh, it's sort of making it look very saturated and blown. But it is there, the, the detail is there on actually in person. Um, so yeah, as you can see with these dark and um, bright areas, the management of it is m hugely improved. And usually what we'd get is an awful lot of bleed between white and bright areas and dark areas. But now it's been really well managed now. Um, it seems to be under control. And these are with the settings that I'm using that I'm showing in another video. So I hope this helps. It's, it just gives you an idea of some of the, you know, the videos that I use, some of the improvements that I've noticed. And um, if you're new here, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell. Um, I do other videos as well, um, but I kind of a little bit known for these calibration ones, I guess. It's kind of how I started. Okay, thanks very much, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, any comments, just let me know. Okay, thanks again and I'll see you in another video. Thanks again, bye.